What is up guys, Max here, and welcome back to another tutorial. Now this is kind of a follow-up to my last tutorial. VM Tech asks, great effect and great video, really like it, good work. Thanks man, appreciate that. But he says, also can we do the same effect for a transition to another footage? Can you do a video? Also if it's possible to do it in Premiere Pro, if so, then make a video, if you can. In Premiere Pro. Thanks, smiley face. And I was like, thumbs up, I see what you're saying, I'll try to put something together. So we're gonna do that. Um, kind of the same effect inside of After Effects first, and then I'm gonna kind of show you how to do the same thing in Premiere Pro, kind of like transition to one piece of footage to another using masks and shapes inside of After Effects, and then we'll use set mats from what we create in After Effects for Premiere. Now you can do it singly in Premiere, and I'll probably show that as well, but you know, maybe we'll make this a two-part tutorial. Maybe not, we'll see. And if you guys would like, feel free to jump down into the description and download the Mediafire link with the footage and my finished project file for After Effects. Take a look, see what I did, use the footage and follow along this tutorial. Other than that, leave a like, leave a comment, and let's get started. All right, so first off, as always, I got some footage. We'll do a new comp from selection, right click new composition, it is says a 16 second piece of footage, and we're gonna want to transition to this flower footage of mine. And if you're wondering where I got this footage, I filmed it myself, and I sell it online as stock footage. Stock footage is really cool to get into if you have a nice camera or something decent. Oop, there's my bottom bar. Sorry about that, guys. You get to see all of my apps. Um, you know, in that way. Continue. So we're going to transition from this flower footage, or from the puck footage to the flower footage using masks. So, first off, this should be really quick and easy because the last tutorial we used masks to create glass effect. We'll just jump right in. So first off, I grab the pen tool, click on my flower footage. I'm going to draw like a slanted piece, skinny piece, skinny piece first. Mask. All right. So it only reveals this piece. Then we're going to do another mask a lot thicker of that and then we're gonna do one more mask that is just large it's gonna be the final piece to reveal it so next up what we're gonna do is we're gonna click down here click down on our mask and drop all of these little things down so we can see all of our mask options we'll highlight one of our masks grab it all move it all over and we will key the mask path clicking the stopwatch to create a keyframe we'll zoom back in time so around a second right here it will start and then at around six seconds we're gonna highlight all of this mask once again and stretch it over this way and this piece can i guess can come in too it doesn't really matter too much but we can kind of you know drag it in for that so it does something like this. And I think you can see where we're going. So what we'll do now is highlight all of these keyframes, right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease. And if we play it back, kind of zoom in and play it back, turn the sound off. I don't even want to know what the sound is behind this footage. And click play. You can see a transition to the footage. And it should be somewhat decent. So Really simple transition, nothing too crazy. We can make it a little more spicy, if you know what I mean. If we highlight these uh, keyframes, click the graph editor, grab the handles, and kind of move them in to give it a little more woof. I call it a woof. Um, click the graph editor on each one. And I'll eventually show you what I use when I don't use the graph editor. But for now, I'm going to make you guys use the graph editor because it's like just the way to learn. So you can see it kind of slowly speeds up speed and then slows in um, just like that and then we'll offset these keyframes a little bit just a tiny bit not much and then click play just like that and you got like a really quick and easy smooth transition with footage if you don't have anything else 
really simple and pretty. Uh, VM Tech, I hope that answered your questions for After Effects. But right now, we're going to make kind of the same thing, but for Premiere. Make sense? Cool. So what we'll do is we will uh, do a new composition. Um, let's do duration five seconds. We only need a five second transition. Click OK. And this is how this is going to work. We will, I don't know, we will grab the pen tool and draw a shape. We're going to make the same transition that we made before. There's that shape. There's the fatter shape. Let's do one shape at a time. Shape one, click off. Fatter shape, shape two. Click off. Let's do a new shape. Big shape that takes up the whole screen. Because they're shapes this time, we can just use the position keyframe. So highlight all of these, click P on your keyboard, key the position so we can move it over the first part right here, move down our timeline, move over to right here where this completely covers it up. And we need to actually scale this shape three up a little bit or maybe just you know move it back some so it lands right. We'll scale it up some. and move it so it completely covers the screen so white and black just like that you might want to like be a little nicer to this shape and actually make it kind of like somewhat aligned look there cool so take your keyframes as before right click easy ease click your graph editor and oh what am i doing need my pointer tool take your graph editor make this thing all easy eased up graph editor and here's a question how's your day going tell me that leave a comment below and i'll comment back and comment on your day that'd be kind of weird right as I'm just making these keyframes the way I want them. <laughs> cool. Before we'll offset these a little bit. Oh wait, no. Sorry. Shape 3 is the last one, so we need to offset it this way. And then, as you can see, we do this. Play it. Probably stretch it out a little bit more. Nice and easy. Just like that, you made this weird white shape. Cool. So to jump back into this, um, let's do another composition. Ooh, the pug footage. New comp with the pug footage. And you can be using any footage you want, it's not a big deal. What we're gonna do is drag our fire footage back in to start something new. We'll take comp one and put it on top of this. Comp one which is just this right there. Put it about right here. Do track mat, luma mat, comp one. And basically, I'll explain this before I do it. Um, this is going over like this. It is basically a black and white composition inside of here. There's nothing under this black. And then even if I put a new black solid at the bottom to actually have a black background because technically there's no black background right now if you turn this off and turn this off there's nothing behind these but if we turn the black background on and actually scale it up to the right size um, we have like a solid black background now I go back to here you can see there it is but if we change 25 flowers 1080p to luma matte it takes basically the white shapes and only shows on the white shapes and not the black. And you can also invert that. So it's like, you know, only showing on the black portions. 
So just like that. And we play it. It will play until the white is gone. So you can use this transition to do all of your work. And from there on, you can just you know duplicate this layer, cut it off to right here, and just play it. So after this transition, your footage will continue to play. And you can reuse this transition over and over again. And you're good to go. So what we'll do now is from this shape layers that we just created, we will take this into Premiere Pro and quickly do the same thing. So what we're gonna do is take this uh, transition we just created, go to composition, add to render queue, send this to the desktop, New folder, Luma, call it Luma Mat. Compound is fine. Lossless. Change this format option. Because I'm on a Mac, I'm gonna change it to, I don't know, ProRes. You can do anything you want, render it out, whatever you'd like. Click OK. Click Randa. Just like that, and we're done. And what we're gonna do now is open up Premiere Pro and do the darn thing. Okay, now that we're in Premiere Pro, I already have a sequence with the pug right here. We can drag in our flower footage from before on top, there it is. And what we'll do now is drag in our footage that we just rendered out from After Effects. And right here, drag in our footage into our project panel and we are going to create our transition. So, comp one, drag it on top. You can see right here, it's this. Really simple. What we'll do is drag our flower footage above that comp one. Let's delete the audio, don't need it. Zoom in. And you can see our flower footage. We'll move it down the timeline a little bit. And we'll go to our effects and presets and go to set mat. Drag it onto flowers. Take our, take mat from video two because our composition's right here. Video two. And choose the use map for luminance. And it will show where it will transition onto your footage. But now we have this black we gotta get rid of, which is really easy because we rendered it out from After Effects with a black background, not a big deal. You'll go to color key in your effects. Color key. Drop it onto your composite comp one. Grab the picker from your effect controls and key color, key the black. You can see there's a little bit of edge right here. So we can just kind of push the tolerance up some, then thin the edge, and the edge is now gone. And now it'll play right back with your footage. Now there's another way to do this inside of After Effects where you render it out with an alpha channel, and you kind of do the same process with set mat, and I'll show you that really quick. So in After Effects, we'll render this out without the black background and make our Premiere Pro exhibition. So composition, add to render queue. We'll do comp one underscore one, save under lossless, click lossless, do RGB plus alpha, um, whatever format you would prefer, and then click OK and render that out. Just like that, render it all done. Then we'll open up Premiere Pro and make a transition. So in Premiere Pro, we already have a project kind of built with our pug footage right here. In our project, we are going to drag in our footage we just rendered out, and then drag our flower footage on top, about a layer or two above, doesn't matter, and then go to comp one, and we want it to transition at this point in time. So right here, we want it to transition right there. So what we'll do is we will drag the 25 flowers 1080p comp above comp one underscore one. Then we we'll go to our effects and presets and type set mat. Drop it onto flowers 1080p footage. Go to your effect controls and it's the set mat effect right here. Take mat from video three, which is right there, video three. And just like that. It's taking the alpha channel, which is basically the 
invisible channel, which is right here, and sending it through. As you can see, there's the white, and it plays it on like footage. So we can do it right from the start right here, play it. And that is like a really easy way to do it in Premiere Pro is to make your transitions inside of After Effects. Like I want it to transition on that way. And then you make it and you can trans transition it in Premiere Pro and you can reuse this over and over and over again and never have to remake it after you've made your, you know, alpha mat. So that works really well. Other than that, guys, that's it. That is how you make these quick little transitions like I kind of did with the glass, but with mats and masks. There's a couple different ways to do it, whatever the way you like. I suggest making a shape transition inside of After Effects, rendering it out, and saving it for future projects and future uses. You could even make you know a bunch of different transitions with shapes and do your own thing. Other than that, as always, I'm Max. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you found this helpful. In VM Tech, thank you for asking the question and giving me another tutorial idea. I love your guys' feedback, any questions you may have. I know I've been getting a lot of questions lately and I'm answering them. So in the lineup, I'll read you some of uh, the few tutorials I have written down for coming up. So I just did, so we just kind of covered how to make glass transitions in After Effects and in Premiere. And now uh, someone asked me, how do I make my logo opener that you see in all my videos, which I'll be covering that how to merge After Effects files, how to make like a 3D picture rotation thing, and how to make these cool slide transitions that I use in almost all of my videos. But that's for a later day. Keep in touch, and I'll keep posting. As always, thank you. And I'll talk to you later. Peace.